Hey Locator Media, we're here bright and early on the Schuylkill River for today's rowing practice. We are going to see what Cabrini University's rowing team is all about. sport for a lot of schools because it's a relatively expensive program to bring on board for a high school. So you come to college, you see it has rowing, you say, oh, I'm give that a try. And that's what's happening here. So I have a lot of juniors on the team, a fair amount of sophomores as well. They're involved in the sport and they get a chance to have a, a competitive sport at a college level, which is not a bad deal at all. The neat thing about rowing is that what we learn right now is the same thing Olympians do as they race in the finals of the Olympics. So it's just deceptively hard to master. You do it thousands and thousands of times to try to get it right. And that's what we're learning now. We're going through the motions, the mechanics of the stroke, and we're going to race three miles for our races here in the fall and 2,000 meters are the spring races. So when we get back in February, early March, we will be rip raring to go. They will have learned the stroke and trained up and will be a little more intense. Right now it's still learning and it's a much longer, more relaxed time than the spring will be. So I'm the coxswain and basically the boat is pretty much in my hands. I have to steer it and make sure that they don't hit anything. So they're all facing backwards and I'm facing them so I can get to see like what's behind them, like all the other boats and stuff. We have speakers every like two seats and I wear a microphone and then whenever whenever I speak in the microphone it like projects. The coaches say it's like I'm the coach on the water because they aren't in the boat so they don't know what's going on. And basically, if something were to happen, it's like my responsibility to take care of it. So I was interested because my friend um, actually told me about it, Liz Hammond, and she did it in high school. So we both thought, why not do it now? I'm excited to see kind of how we work as a team in our first meet or race. Um, and I just I want to see us grow as a team as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Bringing in intercollegiate women's rowing has allowed us to provide more opportunities to be inclusive. So women's rowing becoming our 18th intercollegiate sport, um, especially with that type of sport where a lot of the students um, particularly you know, may have just picked it up later in their lives. So there's a lot of fitness, there's a lot of uh, physical components to this that you can be taught, uh, and Janet has done a good job doing that. Uh, but women's rowing it gives Cabrini a little bit more of a niche as well because there's not a, a lot of Division three institutions in this area short of Bryn Mawr that carries women's rowing. So we're excited about where, where that program is going. Our races for this fall are Na the Navy Day Regatta, which is Saturday, October 15th, and the head of the Schuylkill Regatta, Saturday, October 29th. We will be down on the Schuylkill River, but down on Kelly Drive. So if you go to the St. Joe's University Boathouse or Boathouse Row, you'll be able to watch from there. It is a long race, so you can't see the whole thing unless you want to bring your bike and ride along with the girls as they're racing. Um, but you can pick a spot and kind of hang out. If it's a beautiful day, you'll be able to sit in the sun and really watch and enjoy all these boats racing by. Watch our new Cabrini Cavalier oars racing by and their beautiful new white boat. Come down to watch. <laughs> 